Hi everybody. Sorry it's been a couple of weeks since the last posting but we've all been quite ill here so uh, we're all just getting over it so excuse my voice if I'm coughing and spluttering a bit because we've all had a cold virus. <coughs> what I thought I'd do is let you in on the the sort of design process that I've been going through for some uh, Budweiser's that I've been um, requested to make. I've got a commission first time for about 25 years so it's quite nice. Did a show the other, a couple of weeks ago and a lady came from a restaurant up in North Yorkshire and said she wanted 40 bud vases. So um, I threw two or three, well four, <laughs> the other day, uh, just to have a look at the shapes that I, I was uh, wanting to make. And they go from a quite squat one here that I quite like, to a slightly taller one, through to this one here at the end. And now the process is to decide which is the best one for the job. I mean I quite like these two here for myself but aesthetically I like them but the functional side of them when you put a, a flower in it tends to fall sideways a little bit. It needs to be a little bit taller. So although I like the aesthetics of that one I think it's going to be this one here because sort of already you can see the flowers stand upright. So as far as the functional side of it, having it on the, as a table centre in a restaurant, you don't want flowers hanging out to the side in people's way, people's eye. So it needs to be taller. And also, the tops are varying diameters. Uh, it was intentional, not by mistake. That's the narrower one. This is a, a wider one. That one's a little bit too wide there. Got my finger in it. So what I'm going to do... As I'm going to do a combination of these two. One is going to be that shape, slightly taller, less rounded neck, but it's going to have the smaller diameter hole. Again, it holds the flower up a little bit higher. Um, so that's that. So I thought I'd just involve you in the process there that we all go through. Um, what well, we should go through each time we design and make something is if it's to produce uh, a piece that's functional then uh, the certain criteria it has to follow and like I said before in previous videos it's always best to work from a brief what it does is it focuses your mind and um, allows you to uh, produce pieces that are worth making anyway let's go and make a couple of these and um, we'll edit it all together and you can see the finished product at the end hopefully okay Show you at least one. As usual. Point out wider than you need to. Back in and up. As with all closed in forms, it's always best to excuse me sniffing <laughs> it's always best to um, keep the top as narrow as possible okay, pushing at the bottom lift the clay up six point fingers just to close it in Got the other original on the bench in front of me here, just to give me a, a reference to what I'm making. I, mean, I don't think they all need to be identical. If you wanted identical pots, you might as well make a mould and cast them, which I think is fairly boring. Too much water in there. Let's get rid of it. So everything you make is slightly different, there's nothing no harm in that. Just uh, it's been more or less the same. Close the neck in. Try and get that narrower hole in the top. Try and use a gauge of some sort. I use this um, needle. 
to narrow it down a little bit. Let's remember we've got to get some glaze into this because um, it needs to be waterproof on the inside. Then you're putting water in it, obviously. That's quite good, that's quite adequate, I think. Just get your finger, little finger in. And to give the piece a bit of shape. Whoops! I've got a mirror here in front of me just to uh, double check the profile of it. First one, I'll just double check with the mirror that we've got you all in. Yeah, that's the first one. I'll just trim this off as neat as possible on the base here. Don't want to be doing too much turning. One, because I don't think it needs it aesthetically, but also two, is that after doing 40 or 50 of these, it gets to be quite tedious to turn. Turning after a bit, and I'm not into that, so base will have just a simple turned foot ring with a stamp and then we'll have it fired and glazed. Okay, there you go. Have fun, make a few of those. Post a few uh, replies. It'd be great to get some replies um, visually as well as written ones. Uh, don't be afraid to have a go and post it if you've not done it before. You know, if I can do it, anybody can. Talk to you soon.